going to show you what Adam Scott does in his swing to help with balance. And he's got a great golf swing. And it's a very balanced golf swing. A couple years ago, he was struggling with some balance. I remember watching him at the U.S. Open. He had a lot of body movement going on in his swing. He has worked that out, and it looks really good. Let's take a little peek at, at this golf swing here. And this is the face on view. Just watch the level of his head here. He's got a three wood here. And as he starts to move, just watch how stable his head is. He's not going to do any dropping down or sinking into the shot. And as a result of that, what you're going to see is you're going to see great footwork here. Look at how solid his feet are into this ground. Body's rotating out of the way. The hips are clearing. Head is staying very, very still. He rolls up on that outside leg and that outside foot. Tremendous balance right there. Fantastic work. OK, so I think one of the most important things that you can do to be consistent with your, with your swing and consistent with your shot shape is to have great balance. And I think that one of the things that you'll notice with really good players that are playing at the very top of their abilities is they have great balance. Adam Scott right now is swinging with great balance. And what you see in his golf swing is when he gets set up, he doesn't have too much weight out on the toes of his feet. And there's not too much weight out on the heels of his feet. He's got great just, I like to use the word disbursement, although Juicy tells me that it's not really a word anymore. But I like to use disbursement. The weight is dispersed equally through the feet. He's not sitting out here over his skis, and he's not laying back on his heels and coming up. Now, when you watch a golf swing that's in great balance, what you'll notice is, is that the level of the upper body, particularly the head area, is going to pretty much stay on the same level. What I want you to imagine as you're swinging is that your chin is sitting on like a split rail fence, and it's just going to sit there, and you're not going to let your, your body drop down and hit the split rail fence. Your head's not going to move this way. So you've got this image in your mind of your head just kind of staying on that level and moving. And I don't mind if it has a little bit of movement back and, and through. In fact, I like to see the body moving through the shot. I don't want to see you staying back like this. And when we get a chance later in the show, we're going to look at Tiger Woods swing and see what's going on with Tiger and how his improvement is, is, is going. But so what I want you to do to get that good balance is just imagine that your head is kind of staying on that level. What you're going to find is, is that when you swing, your feet are going to be very stable on the ground. You're not going to be jumping up or moving all over the place. That's going to help you with great balance.